and my name is Michael Levine and today I'd like to take a look at the Highly Icon 2 Quad Blend t-shirt but before we get into that briefly a little bit about myself I work for Aurora Investment Global we are a Vietnamese apparel company we have 22 sewing factories in Vietnam two textile mills two industrial laundries and we may produce a full range of full package custom apparel we work for most U.S. manufacturers, major manufacturers, and even some minor U.S. manufacturers. Our R&D team of scientists are constantly at work creating new performance innovations in conjunction with some of the leading labs and chemical suppliers around the world. And we constantly are rolling out new products. So be really nice if that's where your company's interests are reach out to me and I'll be happy to work with you in developing some product for your company. So to today's product, today we're going to review the Highly Icon 2 Quad Blend t-shirt. Um, this one right here. I bought this shirt on the Highly website. It was $44. I believe it's either a yarn dye or combination of a yarn dye and piece dye construction. Um, the product is part of a developing category of apparel called Gym to Street. For this category of apparel, the garment styling will be a little bit more traditional casual clothing, like street clothing, but the fabric will have the performance features associated with physical activity. So basically you can go from working out in the gym and after you leave the gym, go eat in a restaurant, go to the grocery store, or just go shopping. Um, and not look at a place. Halit refers to this fabric as quad blend, uh, made up of four different fibers, bamboo rayon, rayon, cotton, and spandex. So for you and I, bamboo rayon and rayon are identical. Um, it doesn't have much meaning. For marketing purposes, um, companies like to call out that bamboo is a renewable resource and therefore the rayon is sustainable. Some companies go as far as to insinuate that the rayon picks up properties of the bamboo, such as antimicrobial or something like that, that's naturally occurring in bamboo. The cellulose extracting process to create rayon removes any identification back to the source, and therefore any of, proper, any of those properties that were associated with that plant originally are all stripped from it. So. Um, basically, if there is moisture wicking or antimicrobial or odor control, um, you have to add those features back into it after you make the fabric. Most of the fabrics I've reviewed recently, you would have noticed they're all intimate blends. Some combination of poly rayon, poly nylon, create heathers, uh, things like that. So this is a poly cotton and it is not blend the poly or the I'm sorry rayon cotton and the the rayon and the cotton mixed with spandex are separated and alternating and that's what I feel gives this the street appearance because the pattern created and now give you an up close look at that you can see it's like a micro horizontal stripe hopefully that's coming through uh, on the in the video and so it makes it a little bit more than just a plain t-shirt or a workout shirt, but it makes it more uh, street clothes. Then the stretch and moisture wicking uh, take that street appearance and make it functional for the gym. So anyways, let's go look at this under the overhead camera at um, how it's constructed. Okay, so let's go over a couple of details of the shirt just before we go any further. So we have a tape in the neck, which is... Um, covering up the first of all where the collar setting which is just an overlock and then uh, it also helps control uh, the neck dimension so it doesn't get stretched out of shape we have top stitching along the shoulder around the collar around the armhole we have flat lock stitching here in the sleeve opening and at the bottom hem and then the side seam is just a three thread overlock um, it's a regular inset sleeve we have completely tagless, which is great. Uh, the tag is off-center, and it's probably because of this reflective logo that's on the back uh, bleeding through that would uh, interfere with the label. 
although I would have loved to see this label just kind of be designed for that and be centered so the information is legible without having to move uh, any of the shirt around to see it. F the fiber content here is 31% bamboo rayon, 32% rayon, 31% cotton, 6% spandex. And as I had mentioned earlier, you have rayon um, and then cotton alternating here in your uh, texture, which is giving you these micro horizontal stripes. Um, the laundry instructions here is machine wash cold, uh, tumble dry low, do not iron, do not bleach. It should also include uh, do not add fabric softener as this is a moisture wicking shirt and fabric softener will interfere with the ability of the shirt to wick. Um, just a couple of measurements before we go forward to just check the before and after wash measurements. So the center back length here we have 29 and 7 eighths. The chest we have um, from under the armhole 46 and a half and the sweep about 46 and a quarter so we'll wash it real quick see what it looks like after wash rayon typically has a problem with shrinkage and wrinkling but blended with cotton gives it a lot of stability so it should be okay we'll confirm that and then uh, we'll try the shirt on and see how it fits okay here we are after wash and the appearance is actually pretty good um, not too wrinkled we'll check a couple key measurements that we took before um, chest right at the armhole Twenty-three, so it looks like we lost about a half inch in shrinkage there. Twenty-two and a half, so forty-five. So we did we there we lost a little bit over an inch. Um, that is reflective though of the V taper that maybe um, it was a little bit stretched out after sewing, and now it's coming into uh, its correct dimensions. And then, just lastly, the center back length. And 29 and 3 eighths. Once again, we lost about a half inch there. We had 29 and 7 eighths before wash so overall I would say that the shrinkage was very controlled um, the appearance uh, you can see a little bit of wrinkle coming out but you leave that on a hanger uh, and in a day those will probably all drop out all right so we saw how the shirt performed as far as wash and um, shrinkage and it looks good so far so now let's see how it fits and then we can see what we look like we're sitting at our desk we're going to go to the gym and then move on to uh, go out into the street and walk around with some people so first steps let's try it on all right so let's see how it fits all right looks good I'm pairing this up with our company's own French Terry uh, casual short has a button at the waist zipper real zipper fly pockets but I put in an elastic waistband so this is uh, modeled after regular casual short but the French Terry fabric makes it very appropriate for exercise so you look good and all along with that same concept of gym to street so Let's take it out and see how it goes.
weight, so I thought I'd train shoulders as far as mobility. Uh, probably the greatest test for a, your shirt you can do. Uh, so anyways, we'll take you through the rest of the workout. So from the gym to the street. Anyways, that's my thoughts on the shirt. I like it. I would wear it. I think a uh, nice pair of stretch pants and I could wear this to casual Friday uh, to the work. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoy my video and you find them informative, Follow me on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up so I know you're watching, and I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Take care, dress smart.